I've been around horses all my life. I started working with horses in 1960. When my multiple sclerosis became more uh, advanced, my son introduced me to understanding more about therapeutic okay. riding. I started riding with Doris Leventhal, and I went till I was about, I want to say six. And then a couple years later, Fairhope Farm came along, and uh, through phone calls and just interest, I ended up riding there and met Art and his son Ben. From 2006 on, I've, I was their pilot rider. I started the hippotherapy program with Ben, you know, figuring out the types of things that would work well for people with disabilities. So we're going to talk to you a little about a program. The title of it is the HHS Adaptive Phys Ed Therapeutic Riding Program. I teach adaptive phys ed as well as regular phys ed. And at the time, Lindsay was in my adaptive phys ed class. Lindsay's a huge, huge part of that program. Uh, basically, I teach them etiquette on how to handle the horses, telling them my experience and how I deal with getting on the horses and things that go along with it. I have fun and the people are the best. I find great motivation from it to stay fit, which is very strong, because the stronger I am, the more independent I am, which is very important. The seal is a very dependable, easy to ride. You can always count on them. Um, early is a little more energetic, I like I, I to all the horses that It's the movement of the horse that naturally s stimulates the body's innate interest in being in balance. For people that are quite weak, they have to get full support, but then over time, the movement over time stimulates the nerves that then stimulate and strengthen, get the muscles to react. I've been coming to Fairhair Farm Riding Academy for a little over two years, I believe. Um, I like horses and I do ride myself, so it was kind of second nature to come and help out here. I knew some people who were involved with the barn started to come. I find the, the riders are just inspirational. Um, some of them are truly handicapped, but they just get in there and try and they do what they want to do. And, um, they give, they give it their all, and the horses are wonderful. Um, I've always loved them, but the effect they have on, on people with handicaps is incredible. They, uh, one girl said it gives her a freedom that she never had because she's, he's, she's ha handicapped. Um, I, little children just respond to them. It's just a great program, and I find it very inspirational to volunteer here, and it's a lot of fun to volunteer here. Anna, can you say thank you, Sheik? Uh, and use this hand and say thank you, Sheik. Uh, can you take the flower out with your left hand? Fair enough, with your right hand. Hey! Ooh! Oh, hey! Oh. Thank you, Sheik! <laughs> coming here? Yes. Why? Because I like to help the handicapped people. She was asked how she feels when she's on a horse, so she sees the world from a different perspective. So I asked her to write something. Comfort zone. I am fierce and fearless. The word can't does not exist. I am one of the powerful. There is nothing out of reach. Everything has a rhythm. An invisible rhyme. Something suddenly takes hold. Shifting school time worry off my shoulders. I smile. My body relaxes. The original stress begins to fade. We start in told patterns. We queen ourselves. And I realize the world seems brighter, sharper. 
This is my home, Horsey Comfort Zone.